Hi there, this is James from Burton Waters Boat Sales. Just doing you a short walkthrough video of the narrowboat Meg that we have listed here for sale. Um, she is a 2005 boat, launched 2006, um, and she was a she is a Liverpool uh, boat's hull, and then fitted out by a professional joiner uh, to a really good standard, which we'll see inside in just a moment. So she's uh, 50 foot. Uh, and we'll take you aboard and we'll go through all the other bits and pieces that she has on her. As you can see, she's got a cratch cover um, with uh, coverings for the front windows as well. Uh, and as you can see, we'll just she has just recently been blacked as well. Um, literally went back in the water last week after being blacked and new anodes. So uh, good from that perspective, no maintenance to be done there. So, she is a stone cruiser, so on the back here you have got plenty of space, plus plenty of seating. Um, the current owner has had the boat from new, um, so this is her first time actually being listed on the market since she was launched in 2006. And on the back here, the, um, the current owner had a system made to take a um, bit like a tow ball bike rack uh, on the back. So. Uh, you have got the option of adding a bike rack to the boat as well and it not interfering with the tiller. Um, we've also got a very handy uh, clasp being put on there for, uh, for the umbrella if on the more inclement days. Now, one of the nice features of this boat is the fact that she's got the bow thruster, so it does make her an absolute dream to move. And she's also got a 35 horsepower Isuzu engine um, with quite a big prop on her. So if you're gonna be doing any river work, she really will be a good option for you, uh, it's got to be said. So, what we'll do, let's step aboard and let's have a look inside and see what she offers in terms of accommodation. So, as we come to the back of the boat here, we have the uh, staircase down, um, really is a staircase with a full banister, uh, all done in nice wood, proper quality of woods. And then we've got this um, sort of Poster. I was almost going to say four poster, but obviously it's only got one poster, as it were. Uh, bed style here. And um, the nice thing with that is, is you can actually you could put a curtain around the bed. It has got rails up here as well, so you can curtain the actual bed off. Uh, and there's a nice bit of storage above and below the bed as well, which I'll just take down to show you. Okay. So as we come round, you've then got sort of like a dressing area uh, just here. Again, plenty of storage on here, plenty of space for hanging things like your keys and everything. And then it's got covered in here. This one's obviously got the entrance to, to your electrics. Um, and then as we come round, we've then got uh, a wardrobe just here, which has also got the expansion tank for the Aspasha heating system. Now, in terms of the heating on the boat, she has got a log burning stove. Um, but she also has got a uh, radiator system as well. Okay, so let's take a bit of a further wander up the boat. She also has the foldable table for the saloon, which is nicely secreted out the way just there. Then we've got your toilet, which is a Thetford cassette toilet. Nice little vanity unit in here, again with a bit more storage. And then we've also got this full shower as well um, which is a nice feature it's a nice size of shower plus you've got your towel rail in here um, and the floor is actually tiled as well so coming around let's walk further up the boat and uh, up here we come up to the galley so on the galley we've got some storage onto the starboard side here that's just been neatly tucked in always handy that extra bit of storage plus they love the benefit of this opening hatch window allowing to let plenty of air and light into the boat, especially on the more clement uh, months of the year. Uh, and also you, the, the finish on the woodwork with this lovely um, sort of side arch effect, which is really nice finish, uh, just sets the boat off nicely. Uh, and again, you've got plenty of, plenty of storage here in the galley with your uh, sink, hot and cold water again, of course, uh, four burner gas ring hob. Then we've got, uh, your oven, gas oven with grill, and also a shoreline fridge freezer. So and plenty of space for storing bits as well. There is also an extractor fan in here for the hob as well. And then as we make our way forward, 
you then come to the saloon area. Uh, it's a nice sort of L-shaped saloon area here. Um, again, storage underneath there, and this can then be made up into a double berth. So making the boat a four berth boat, and then you've got plenty of space and storage all the way along here. And then obviously the all important log burner stove uh, for this time of year. Plus the cushions for the, back, uh, for the bow area. And again, you've got a nice little cupboard unit just up here. Uh, and then in the actual uh, bow area itself, we've actually got proper seating and uh, also a table. Uh, and obviously you can open the side of the crutch to allow light or open up fully and allow some more air into the boat as well. So as you can see, uh, it's a, a stunning layout, good solid wood finish, um, really nicely done and uh, would certainly make a very good boat for someone uh, and please feel free to give us a call and uh, for more details.